Cancer is the second leading cause of deaths worldwide. Approximately 10 million people die of different kinds of cancers every year and approximately 40% of these cancer deaths are preventable. What exactly cancer is? Cancer is basically a disease which occurs due to changes in a group of normal cells leading to their uncontrolled division or multiplication leading to formation of a lump or a tumor. And if left untreated, this tumor will grow into the adjacent normal tissues or even in the distant parts of the body through your blood and lymphatic channels. So what are the various symptoms and signs of cancers? The common signs or symptoms of cancers are a lump or a swelling which is usually painless and it is progressively increasing in size as the cancer progresses. The other common symptoms can be unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite, any unexpected bleeding from different parts of the body such as blood in stools, blood in urine or in the vagina, vaginal bleed. Then there are symptoms such as extreme tiredness, we have seen that cancer treatment is getting better over a period of several years. For the past 10 years, they, there has been a lot of changes in cancer treatment. In terms of medical treatment, beyond chemotherapy, we have seen targeted therapies, immunotherapy coming in for better cancer treatment. However, the crux or the basis of this is basically personalized medicine and precision medicine. When I say precision medicine, I mean to say that we have now actually started analyzing the genes of cancer. Now the genes are basically the software or the information of how the each cell in our body would grow further, divide further. And these genes in cancer cells basically would tell us when we analyze them that how are they going to uh, behave. Also they tell us whether they can be stopped uh, from further division. So if there are any drugs, the, these are called targeted therapies and these actually act on these particular uh, cancer genes or the proteins that they produce. This is how precision medicine works. Precision medicine has changed the way we are treating cancer patients, the way we are diagnosing them. So in some patients, we see that there, are, there is a genetic inheritance. There is a probability of genetic transmission of cancer in the family, that is cancer running in the family. And this can be screened by genetic screening. The second way precision medicine helps us to understand the genes of the cancer better and, and allow us to use this information to treat patients better. The advantage of such treatment is that not only patients tolerate the treatment better, they have a better quality of life also that they live longer. And also the third way that a precision medicine is helping us is following up these patients who have been treated well in terms of detecting any early relapse or recurrence. So in a way precision medicine has been a boon and also is the way forward of how cancer treatment will evolve and we will be able to treat our patients better. Thank you. The world sees around 18 million cancer cases every year. Out of these, again around 10 million cases die every year. There is some good news I am bringing you on World Cancer Day and that is almost 30 to 50 percent of all cancers are actually preventable. Yes, you can prevent most of these cancers by very simple measures. Avoiding tobacco, avoiding alcohol, prevention of some infections by use of vaccinations, bringing changes in your lifestyle, maintaining a lean body style, exercising regularly. These are some very simple measures that will make you feel good, make your body feel good and also prevent so many cancers from occurring in the general population. So with this cheerful news, wishing you all lots of health, lots of happiness. Thank you. Cancer is a disease considered synonymous with death. However, this outlook is rapidly changing. Our focus now is not just on prolonging survival for our patients, but also improving the quality of life. 
Each patient comes with a very unique set of concerns and expectations from the treatment. And that is why personalization of cancer care is so very important. Various facets of each individual's disease are discussed in detail in our multidisciplinary tumor board. This includes the scope of organ preservation, the cosmetic outcomes that the patient might expect, the various modalities that are to be used, their sequencing, the expected side effects. It is after such a detailed discussion that we are able to come forward with a plan that is both acceptable and beneficial to the patient. Small steps such as these will let us uh, conquer cancer and close the care gap. Thank you. In this era, many of the cancers can be avoided with healthy lifestyle, nutritious diet and avoiding addictions. Many of the cancers like cervical cancer can be prevented with use of vaccines. Many cancers can be detected in early stage with help of diagnostic tests, screening tests like mammography, pap smear test, colonoscopy and several other screening methods. Uh, still some unfortunate individuals develop cancer. So on this cancer day, my advice to all the individuals who ever notice any symptoms suggestive of the cancer to visit their doctor, their clinician or an oncologist as early as possible. Because whatever the cancer, if diagnosed in early stage, most of the time curable, fully curable. So be wise, use technology and stay healthy. All the best. Namaskar, friends. Today we will talk about cancer treatment. Cancer treatment has three main steps. First, diagnosis. Second, staging. And the last one is treatment. Actual treatment. So, we have to understand that diagnosis and staging are the two main steps of cancer treatment. So, the diagnosis and staging are the two main steps of cancer treatment. So, the diagnosis and staging are the two main steps of cancer treatment. So, the diagnosis and staging are the two main steps of cancer treatment. So, the diagnosis and staging are the two main steps of cancer treatment. So, the diagnosis and staging तो डायग्नोसिस के लिए जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप होता है बायोप्सी एक बहुत बड़ा मिसकंसेप्शन है बायोप्सी से कैंसर फैलता है पर इस बायोप्सी से ही कैंसर का डायग्नोसिस 100 परसेंट एक्यूरेट होता है दूसरी चीज स्टेजिंग है स्टेजिंग से हमें कैंसर का स्टेज का पता चलता है इसके लिए होल बॉडी पेट स्कैन होता है कैंसर का इलाज हमेशा स्टेज में होता है स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री और स्टेज फोर कैंसर के चार स्टेजेस हैं और हर का इलाज अलग होता है इसके बाद हम ट्रीटमेंट डिसाइड करते हैं ट्रीटमेंट में कॉम्बिनेशन दिया जाता है मल्टी मोडालिटी सर्जरी कीमोथेरेपी रेडिएशन इम्यूनोथेरेपी और काफी नई अलग विधियों द्वारा भी इलाज होता है नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन, ऑन दिस वर्ल्ड कैंसर डे आई जस्ट वांट टू से टू ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन आउट देर हु बैटलिंग विद दिस डिजीज और हैज अ लव वन बैटलिंग विद दिस डिजीज दैट वी आर हेयर टू मेक श्योर दैट योर क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इज मेंटेन टू अ मैक्सिमम that you are as pain free as we can make you and we really hope to aim to maintain your individuality and your dignity during this battle of yours so as a part of a comprehensive cancer center this is how i pledge to close the care gap